Hey guys, welcome back to the backlog. I'm here with a new playthrough. We just finished up the Genshin Impact and 7th uh, Stand user playthrough, so I felt that it was time to move on to the next adventure, and this next adventure I've come to bring you is Cube World. It is a pretty, I would say it is a pretty prolific fan, not fan game, pretty prolific indie game since, well, this game came out in Alpha back in 2013 and had a final release in 2019. Yeah, long time in between with a big, very, uh, very harsh development cycle. Also, the entire world is disappearing. I've had a problem recently with everything turning into fog. I think it's because I'm running OBS the same time as playing it, but hopefully nothing bad will happen. Anyway, it took like half a decade to come out, and a lot of people really don't like the full release version. They love the alpha, they kind of hate the full release, so I've played it uh, at least a little bit when it first came out. I played the alpha when I was a kid, not legally to be said, but then again they stole, they took off the ability to pay for the game long, long time ago, so it's not like you could even, you know, even really could pay for it, but I was able to play it pretty much pirating, but then again, Wooly isn't really around anymore, so I don't think he'd give a shit if I actually pirated the game. Either way, uh, when I heard the official release was coming out back during my freshman year of college, uh, I was like, you know, hyped as fuck, and the game came out, and it's a little bit, well... Not as good, but it's not too bad. So I want to do a playthrough of it on the vanilla version. Vanilla version's a little bit bad. I heard mods make this game, like, amazing. Like, pretty close to what the alpha was. But uh, I want to try it at least for a little bit. You know, vanilla. I don't know how long I want to play this for. It's a lot like when I'm starting that uh, Naruto Minecraft series. I'm just kind of like, you know, going for as long as I think I can. So, let's just get started. I want to go for a new character. Lag. Blue. My character is blue. Just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, fading in. There's a big problem with, like, render distance in this game. I don't know if it's a problem with computer or OBS. Because I run it, when I run it without OBS, sure, there's still fog, but it doesn't lag as much. So, I think it's just OBS. Anyway. The, there is a lot of customization. That's one thing that everybody loved about this game when it first came out. And the races don't really have anything bearing on your stats. So you can be a human, an elf, a uh, dwarf, an orc, a goblin, I don't know what's going out there, a lizard, an undead, so Sans Undertale, a frog, which is what everybody loves. And I bet if Carter was playing this with me, he'd love it too. Maybe I can convince him to play it with me. Because this is multiplayer. You can play this like like four other people. It's not going to be as fun as the alpha in multiplayer, but still. Uh, I definitely, I want to be a girl. This is just me projecting my transgenderism. <laughs> if I, nothing against anybody who actually is transgender, but transgender me would probably look like ugly as sin. Uh, I guess I can just go human. I guess. What kind of, uh, you got four different classes with, uh, Two specializations each. You got the warrior, the ranger, so green arrow, the mage, and the rogue. I don't really know who I want to go as. I usually play rogue in a lot of games. The mage be fun to play as? I know the specialization for it has something a little bit different. I think I might go mage. I don't think I've played that much. My face. Okay. So it's just different skin colors plus different eye colors. I mean, this kind of <laughs> reminds me of my Minecraft skin. What kind of haircuts you got? Ooh, sexy haircut. Well, you know I got to go with a sexy brunette. That's what I am, right? 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 <laughs> I cry in sexy brunette. Uh, we're going to call it Frozen. Yeah, fuck it. Its name is now Frozen. All right. As you see... The game is most definitely loaded in. I am at the Ashland Plains. Don't I? No, I don't actually know somebody named Ashland, but I know somebody that knows somebody named Ashland. Don't ask. Anyway, uh, this game, if you've ever seen Cube World's Alpha, Cube World's full release is very, very different. Now, uh, let me turn down this. You can actually turn this down. I think you can, if you press 
escape, it brings up a big old menu. If I press F1, that turns off that. So, yeah, if you've ever seen the Alpha, very different game. Most, uh, you know, open world RPGs have a leveling system. This game has no leveling system. At least, any normal leveling system. Press B, brings up everything in my inventory right now. And it brings up all my stats. It says Frozen, level 1, weapon level, armor level, my class, my specialization. All these stats. There's no XP bar. Levels are gained in a very different way. What are these? Battered Gold Bracelet. Oh, so they're like... I don't know what that is compared to the shabby Wood Staff Plus. I don't know. What is Artless Wood Wand? I don't know what these are, but I'm going to try these bracelets first. Anyway, this is the great world of Cube World. It's pretty fucking, uh, it's, it's got an art style that most people love the shit out of, and I love it too. It's probably bad to be around here. As you look at, like, enemies, they've got stars on their name. That pretty much denotes difficulty. Difficult thing. Uh, everything that is not, uh, a one star currently... It's going to kick my ass, so the best thing to always do when you start out in this game is lag your ass off. But at the same time, go to the local village and ask for some fucking help. You don't start with any money, which is big sad. Big, very sad. What the fuck is wrong with the back of my hair? It looks so weird. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> you... To get better in this game, you don't really level up. You have to get better gear. <laughs> You don't start any money. You're gonna need to go out and kill things for money, so that's kind of a fucking pain, but... Here we talk to this person. Oh, hello, how can I help you? I want to change my specialization to Water Mage. Specialization is now Water Mage. So, instead of shooting fire, I have water. One really nice thing about being a Water Mage is that uh, you can shoot shit on the ground and heal yourself. Which, you know, could be useful. If I was playing with more people, it would be useful. But it's also a weapon, so I'm not- I'm okay with it. Ooh, cat. This is cat. Cat looks disgusting as fuck. Uh, one really big thing about Cube World was that, uh, you could get pets in the game. That kind of acted like an extra party member. They're not as good as they once were, but I still want to get, you know, somebody to hang out with. We need to kind of look around town. You need to talk to the town members, like the jester that has- thousand help. Maybe not. What are you? It's the inn. Okay. Uh, I need, like, a fucking armory of some kind, because I have no armor to speak of. The insectoid. Okay. Greetings. I'm here to craft a piece of armor. Wow, go off. Go off. So say it with your chest. <laughs> As I've heard people say. Flight Master. The Flight Master is a very special man. Hello. Hey, my name is Benny. Are you interested in a hang glider? Yes, Benny, I'm interested in a hang glider. Yeah? Well, Benny doesn't have much else to say. Fuck Benny! Nobody's gonna get the joke about Benny. Uh, Bemmy, Be Bemmy? Yes, Bemmy. Benny is a very old joke from YouTube videos that aren't online anymore. My name is Megalia. I would like to have an owl pet. You know, why can't I find anybody who speaks like a normal person? Why is everybody here like, I want this, I want that? Well, I can't bring you shit, brother. Oh yeah, I guess I can water bolt. You can also use your right click if you have mana to do like a harder attack. And I think if you press shift and right click... Oh, if I press shift, I float. But if I shift right click, healing streams, so that heals whatever is in front of me. Okay, then. Anyway, I need to talk to fucking people. I can jump with space. Which you will see me do a lot. And you can also hold down shift to run if you were a uh, an actual fighter class. Who are you? Hello. I have a friend called Benrick who is an explorer. When he traveled to the Dunrock Rock, Duraka Rock, he found a legendary book of crafting. As you can see now, if you press M, you can bring up your map. Uh, uh, a fucking thing was there. That's pretty much the dungeons you get to go to. Problem is, that is a four-star dungeon, and I am a no-star asshole, so I need to find weaker dungeons. I don't like walking. I prefer riding. 
You're fucking... I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you, and I don't even know what you're saying. Ooh, bed. I guess you can sleep in the bed. I don't really see a point. You can also press R, and it, it does a thing. I don't know what these water... Oh, you can make them all explode. Make them all explode? Make them all explode is my favorite sound. What about you, Jenny? Now that just makes me fucking want to die. One of the supplier gnomes was last seen at Nard... <coughs> Her, uh, graveyard. Captured by skeletons. Let's see, he should be dead, I guess. Anyway, now you can see that also shows up. That is still four star. Bad idea to go after those. I need to find something that's one star. Supposedly, there is an arcane artifact. Uh, something somewhere. Are you looking for it? Did that show up on my map? Nope. I guess it's not in a dungeon, so you can just kind of ignore it. Yeah, pretty much the goal of this beginning part is to get quests from random people. Legend has it there is a magic Estonian artifact, the, S the Scepter of Eldor. Are you searching for it? No. I don't know what it is, but I ain't searching for it, man. Man, this is a random house. Never just heard of somebody smashing around town, opening doors, asking people for if they need help. Who wants... The free two-bed house. <laughs> it has two beds in it. I don't really know why. Have I already talked to that person? Yeah, I've already talked to Jenny. I think she told me about gnomes or something. Nah, none of these have, like, marked buildings on them. Nothing says, like, a certain area I can go to. Because if you go to certain, like, buildings, they can sell you certain things. What about you, Jimmy? Supposedly there's a powerful Estonian artifact. That's not helpful. Have you heard of the Estonia realm? You can find Estonian remnants in many places. What the fuck does that mean? There's a lot of things that don't really mean much in this game, but, you know, we shall see what they do mean. I keep on breaking into people's houses, but nobody lives here. Is this fucking place empty? Where the fuck am I going? Uh, have I talked to you before? No, I've talked to Benny. Benny is a fucking idiot. He, he asks me about fucking hang gliding and then just doesn't do anything about it. He's like, do you like hang gliding? And he just doesn't say anything back. Okay. Weapon shop, most likely. What up? So you can buy a shabby gold bracelet plus one, or just plus, for, uh, I guess, 50 gems and a dusty old staff. That's fucking... Who would want your wares? You're fucking horrible, man. Fucking horrible. Then if we go over to the magnifying class uh, house, come on, let me talk. You can inspect things. Not like there's much to inspect that I have right now, but you know, might be useful later. Nobody's in this house. I keep on breaking into people's houses, but nobody has lived here. You know, I just, I need to break into your house. What can I say? You have great loot, I bet. <laughs> it's not like Zelda where I can just break into somebody's house. Oh, hi, Jenny. Good day. I would love to have a camel pet. Who the fuck would want to take care of a fucking camel? Those things are fucking disgusting half the time. Can't fight that. That's a bad idea. I can't fight that. That's a bad idea. No, what about that? What about Lost Coast? <laughs> oh, boy. I don't even get that joke. I don't really understand what that means. Let's see. Nothing in here. Yo, Wolfney. Oh, hello. How's it going? Are you interested in hang glide? <laughs> Why is everybody talking to me about that? How high can you glide? It's more like, how high can I get? Somebody's over there. I don't know who that is. Uh, still nobody who's willing to give me a new quest. Those two quests are horrible. I can't, can't do anything about that, man. I can't do either of them. Really, it's extremely hard to get started if you have, like, quests like that. What up, Ben? Gurgam. Hello, my name is Gurgam. I like... Why is everybody here like hang gliding? I can hang glide, Jimmy. Even though you just told me your name, I'm just gonna fucking not say your name correctly. Let's see. Anybody lives in this house? Nope, more empty houses. There is another... Oh, pfft, I didn't know I can get caught on that. Alright, what do you guys say? Oh, hello. My friend is a ranger. When he was exploring the dark forest of Corion, 
He found something. Okay, Jim. Climbing spikes. Okay. What about you? Good day. I don't know if it's true, but... Uh, my friend saw a magic book of crafting at D Dragon Rock. Did I already do that one? Oh, okay. Dark Forest of Coria is something that I can do pretty easily, so... That sounds nice. Oh, hello there, sheep. Sheep is nice. We leave, we leave John alone. At least for now, until I need to pull off his fucking ears. Okay, so... I at least have a direction to go. That does not mean, even if it is a one-star dungeon, that it is even possible. It just means, you know, it's easier than other things. I need to find a different shop. Float. I think I can jump, then float. It just makes me float very slowly to the ground. Because I don't have to worry about falling very far. I need to find a certain building that might sell me a thing. <laughs> I floated over there. Let's see, you're just a specialization, dude. Where is the... Okay, fight place, inspection place. I need an, I need the armor place. Okay, there is consumables. I think I could buy something important here. Let me go check. Okay, what up? I've come to steal your shit. I can buy a sugar cube, a cotton candy, and a bomb. The sugar cube and the bot the bot and bandy? Yes, bot and bandy. That's important. That is the stuff you use to actually uh, tame animals. So, yeah. Might want to grab that. Uh, other than that, we need to go out and murder through the extreme. The only other thing I haven't found here is a... What, travel? I guess I can just click on the map and travel? Very strange. I didn't know I could do that. Uh, I need to find an armor shop. I know all I'm doing right now is running around asking where things are, but it's kind of an important thing to first off just find where things are. So I don't know. I can't really get the shit I need. I saw something in the distance. Oh, oh, it's over there. There's the armor shop. At least I think so. Looks like a shirt. It's probably a shirt. If it looks like a shirt, it's probably a shirt. Okay. Hello there. He can show me gloves, shoulder armor, a gold ring, and armor. That is pretty damn good. Well, now that I know that, how much money do you actually require, sir? Uh, B, E. Maybe fucking almost 100. Yeah, your your menu can get pretty fucking fucked up. So anyway, now you know the money we need. Now you know all the money I searched for. So now, probably a good idea to head towards that dungeon. Doesn't mean I'm actually going to get there. Plan is to try and kill and grab items along the way. Just at the very beginning of the game, you're going to get your ass kicked a lot. And by a lot, I mean a lot. You're not going to survive very long in many situations, so best to pick your fights uh, smartly. Smartly? That's not a word. Wisely. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Words work. Just wander around this world. It may not seem like much, but this game was pretty magical for the time. This was 2013, so around the time Minecraft was kind of... Uh, I wouldn't say it's falling off in popularity, but it's definitely... Like, taking a change in what it was going to be. People thought Minecraft was going to be a lot more RPG-focused, when it turned out to be much different than that. Oh, here's the Great Fog. Yeah, there tends to be a lot of fog in this game, at least when I play it. Like, to an insane degree. I think it's mostly... Oh, yep. That can completely happen. Uh, it tends just to be when, a ga when the game just can't load certain parts in very quickly, and that can be because of, like, you know... My render... My render resistance is at 100%. <clears throat> but you kind of just need to sit down and enjoy the roses and wait for your render distance to reopen. I need to take a sip. Ah, my sun ghost. Okay, are we all... Are we all nice and tidy? Yeah, big dudes up there. Three stars. Very dangerous. Not gonna touch them. You kind of gotta look for, like, little, small, woodland creatures to murder... Like, is he a chicken? No, 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 no,
bad idea to be here. Even if I can't see, I need to run through here. Grab shit off the ground as well. If you see just something on the ground, fucking pick it up and book it. Book it as fast as you can. Yeah, I can't see anything, but it's a bad idea to stay still. There we go. I think I'm safe. Even if the darkness around me tells me that I am most likely not. Tree. Apple. Apples are good. They give you health. Man. So much fun! Yeah, that's why I was saying, like, when I'm not using OBS, game runs completely fine. It's just OBS is... Eh. It's definitely a sink on your CPU. Like, it's using... Like, if I look at it right now, it's using 50% of my CPU. I wonder if I were to go into my options. Because you can actually control CPU usage. Reduce. So if I then do that, will that help performance a little bit? I don't know. We're going to see what happens. It's at least running at least okay. Yeah, there's my fucking flying. I don't know if I like that. As a rogue, I could actually just flippy trick out of everything. Don't you just like having to wait a couple minutes for everything to, like, reload? I don't think that's helping at all. Oh, damn. Big fall. You don't want to jump off cliffs here. You can take a lot of fall damage. Just a better idea to take smaller falls if you can. I guess I, I can just float off. Let's see. Oh, mole. It might be fightable. Okay. Don't take two at the same time. That is never a good idea. Uh, where are you going? There we go. And then, uh, water mages have an ability just to stay in their own fucking their zone. Where are you going? You don't want to fight, asshole? I don't think he wants to fight. I, I don't even think he knows he's in a fight. You don't even know you're in a fight, dude. So from there, you sh sometimes they'll drop, like, coins, and that's really what you're looking for. Uh, where did the other... Oh, these big... Oh, Alpha Dog! Five star. Avoid that. Avoid that at all cost. Two star? Ain't gonna fuck with that. You can just ignore enemies. Do you like blue screen? I do too. I think it's nice. Hopefully things aren't trying to attack me currently. Because I literally cannot see anything. Oh boy. See, why is it going outwards now? I don't know. Then again, I can just heal myself if I stand here. I can just kind of stand here and if enemies try to attack me. They can't do crap. They can't do crap. I look very weird. I look very weird. Ah, Bush! It's, it's, it's George himself. Sorry, Georgie boy. Now you're dead. Anyway, there's also crafting in the game. Because this is, like, from 2013. Where crafting had to be in every single video game. Ever. Just because Minecraft was good, everybody needed crafting. So if I just shoot down here, I'd be, I'd be good. I'd be good. I can't see anything in front of me. Dark Forest of Croria. More like Dark Lands of Cube World. It's a bee. I guess the Bumblebee is okay with me. I think he's one of the pets you can get. So, I guess Bumblebee... Bumblebee himself from Transform... Transformers... Decided to leave me alone. Yeah, I don't really... I love this. This I love this whole, you know, I can't see anything. What if I just stare at the ground? Staring at the ground seemed to have loaded the world a bit better. Huh? I, heard, I hear killing noises. What the? Oh, shit. Get him, Noel. Whoever the hell you are. Get him! Kill him for me. You can also kind of just let other adventures you see around the world kill enemies for you. Making it so much easier just to kind of, you know, fuck shit up. Okay, am I getting close to where I need to go? I will definitely see it when I see it. If I just look down, I think it loads the world a bit better. Maybe. Just look down. 
Maybe I just got lucky. I don't know. You received a lemon. When I received lemons, that is no good. Alright, options maybe? Why did bringing up the options screen kind of not, <laughs> like, unfuck it? See, every time you have to re-lower the mini-map. You see, I don't know. I just put it back up to full. We'll see what happens. I'm just on the lookout for enemies that are worth fighting. Because you really need that gold. That gold is going to save you at least at the very beginning. It's not going to give you the best loot. But at the same time, you kind of have to... Most of that loot comes off of killing enemies. So, get money to get stuff. To then kill enemies to get uh, better stuff. Good explanation. I don't really know what we're walking into, but I will grab all these apples. They are good health. Can't carry more apples. You can't carry enough apples. You little piece of fuck. Angry music. Oh boy. You know, I first heard about this game. Not from like any trailers. I actually saw it on a like a let's play PBG did with a bunch of his friends called Game Squad. That's not on the internet anymore, so. I'd, you can't even watch it, but I remember it when I was a little kid. Man, grab those heart flowers. They are very useful. Just as many as you can get. Oh, looks like I can't pick up anymore. No, I just have to be closer. What is that? Oh, he said climbing spikes. I guess they were right. Pick up. You received climbing spikes. Climb even the steepest walls through the Ashen Plains. What does that mean? Through the Ashen Plain, Ashlyn Plains. Uh, I have some bad news, bud. As you can see, each and every item declares a place. Here is the worst part of uh, Cube World full release. Every item is restricted to a certain area. You see how we're kind of in an area right here? Go out of it. Item no longer works. And at least turns into trash. That is why Cube World full release is not liked. It is because it makes the game's, like, progression loop so insanely grindy that you can no longer want to play. Yeah... I was going to avoid that for a while, but there's no avoiding it for too long. You have to kind of talk about the whole, you know. You can barely play the game without wanting to die. Come on, you're not going to live much longer, little plant. Yeah, doing this, it's a little bit too OP, but then again, I got two gold out of that, which is nice. Anyway, I'm just kind of looking to die soon. Okay, that works, I guess. And then, also, if you, uh, like, as you can see when I'm fighting people, there's stars above their head. Uh, not those stars in their name, but there's, like, swirling stars, kind of like getting knocked out stars. That's kind of gonna tell you if, uh, like, you can knock them down. Because with my second move, I can actually knock them down pretty easily. If they no longer have stars above their head, like the right now, they can get knocked down again. I never actually knew how good uh, Water Mage was. I never... This is a little bit OP. I didn't know it was going to be this good. Seems like at least two-star enemies are a lot easier to fight now. This is... I really like the music in this game. The music in this game is pretty damn awesome. So yeah, this is kind of just the goal. Go around, get the stuff for one area, then go to the next area and lose it all. And I don't just mean equipment, like stuff to put on your head. Even those climbing spikes I just got, they don't work anywhere. The hang glider they were talking about earlier, move to the next area, your hang glider turns off. It is very dumb. Very dumb. I do not understand that. 
a lot of the things that were removed, like the leveling and the things that were added, like the region lock, which is what they, what Wooly, the, uh, the developer called the whole turning off of items when you go to a different area. Uh, there's a lot of mods that remove and then add back stuff that people liked, remove the stuff people did not like. So, if you really feel like you want to get the alpha experience or you feel like the game is just too dumb, you can just, you know edit the game to be whatever the hell you want, which is really nice. Because even if the developer has pretty much left the game out to dry for the last five years, which is kind of sucky, but I kind of understand after the story he had to kind of go through, still there are players that are, like, feel that the game is still worthwhile playing and still worthwhile putting time into. So valuable modders can make this game into something that it probably should have been but never got the chance to. Which is pretty sad, but, you know, if they're willing to put the time in, I ain't gonna complain about their hard work. Campfire, I can make stuff here. I can make random bullshit. I can make, what the? Armless gold on, I need gold, I need silver. Let's see, I need to make life potions. If you have water flasks, you can have that. I think I actually have water flasks, requires water. I think I can only make that when I'm in water, if I remember correctly, so, uh, what is that? Savage dog. I don't want to fight you guys. You guys are the weird alpha dogs. See, crows. Crows are very weak animals. They are pretty easily, you know, destroyed. And even small animals like crows, they can drop cash. I don't know why they have cash on them, but they do. Come on. Like, did he just dropped some gold for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. But yeah, you can even befriend these crows to be your, like, friends and shit. Like, if, like, the animal pets that I was talking about earlier, they will fight for the player. So, it's like, they will try and, like, help you out in fights. They used to be able to level up just like the player did. I don't think they level up at all. I don't know how they get stronger. But yeah, you can have pets. I don't know if the pets actually go to different areas with you. I'm not sure if that's true. Uh, Snout Beetle. I might want to try and beat the fuck out of that thing. Oh, it's a, a savage dog. It's just leaving me alone. A pretty good savage dog. I guess they, yeah, random adventurers will fight random objects. Ugh, stay away from savage dog. That man is running for his life. Are you trying to fight me? No, he's just... He's not really sure what he is. Oh, he even dropped a bomb. Okay, I can tell you, yeah, the lag is indefinitely real. Indefinitely real? That could be true, too. Let's see, please die, Mr. Croc... Cro crocodile? I know you can get, at least from what I remember, there are crocodiles in the game that you can befriend. If you really feel like you really want a crocodile as your friend. How is he not getting hit? What if I hit you with the bubble blow? Nah, I don't really work. Anyway, I want to teleport back to town if I can. Are you trying to shoot at me? Sorry, bud, I'm leaving. <laughs> Are you trying to shoot at me? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm fucking leaving. Anyway, let the world fucking fade back in. It really likes to use this whole, you know, uh, like, fog system. I don't know if maybe it's, like, easier to go to places you've already been to with the fog. I don't know. Anyway, give me gold. Gold pieces, what the? Could I fight that? I don't. I don't want to even chance it, so I ain't gonna fucking figure out, bud. Oh! Sorry, I just had to scream. You know, you ever just had that need to scream as loud as you can about something? He doesn't even want to fight me. Okay, then. I'm just gonna fucking leave. Before this episode ends, uh, I do want to buy something from the shop. I just wish I knew where the shop was. So dark, I can't tell. Ah, okay, this is the inspection shop. Is this the consumable shop? 
Forget where the consumable shop was. Sword shop or weapon shop. There we go, consumable shop. So if I walk in there with my 20 gold. There's nobody in here. Why can't I walk inside? Is it like nighttime? Or maybe because the game hasn't loaded, it doesn't want me in the building? I don't know. Did everybody die while I was gone? Getting spike climbing boots? I'm the new specialization changer. Bow before me in my awesome power of stupid fucking rings. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, it was most likely just that the game hit a load. No oh boy. I've also heard it's not a very well, you know, optimized game. It barely had any, like, you know, testing before the full release. They had a very small beta test. So, if I grab that... I don't know, I don't think sugar cube is what I need. If I grab that, what is leftovers? I don't know. Anyway, now the cotton candy shows up in my pets, because this is how you get pet. This is how you get pet. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the clothes shop and buy me a fucking something. Buy me a something to make me a little bit more durable. Even though I'm pretty much invincible, I don't want them to out damage me and then therefore kill me. Anyway, I don't know where did that sheep go. Because each animal requires a different kind of, uh, like, thing. Let's see. I'll say this is a lot better <laughs> than that one. Let's see. No, I want to wear my rings. And then, stupid hands that'll give me a bit more health. Because for some reason, your armor gives you health. It's very strange. Anyway, that sheep, like, every animal has a specific kind of food it likes to eat. If I remember, sheeps like cotton candy, even though you should probably not be sh feeding sheep cotton candy. But, uh, I do have a list that I wrote down, not really wrote down, I took a screenshot of. Uh, like a couple hours ago before I was gonna start playing, because I knew I wanted a pet, like, pretty damn immediately, because I wanted to be able to actually train it. If that's even a thing, I don't know, man. I do not know. Okay, just what take? What likes cotton candy? Uh, sheep like cotton candy. Uh, only sheep. Okay. There was a sheep here, but I don't think it's around anymore. It was like hiding. It was hanging around like the regen shrine, right? As far as I remember, it was like hanging around in near this area, right? It could have just despawned. I don't know if animals are constant spawns or something like that. Like they stick around. No real cool. No real cool. Where did I see that thing? I don't remember. Why is that dude on his house? I see a dude up in the top right on his house. Yeah, I have a seeking suspicion. You left the oven on. Is over I just see random things in the distance and I go, is that a sheep? No, that's a dude with a sword. Sheep have swords, right? Maybe. These guys are just fucking about. That guy is literally running into a wall. Uh I don't really know how spawns work in this game. Never really tried to figure that stuff out. Like when does what spawn? I don't know. It does give you a timer at the top, along with the temperature, the humidity, zoom, and your coordinates. Because this big map that gets brought up, this is not procedurally generated like it used to be in Alpha. It is, like, the same map every time. You just get placed out, like, very, 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 very far away from each other. Uh, if you have it in multiplayer. I cannot find any sheep. It might be a fruitless effort. It might be a sheepless effort, I might even say. It's a human. It does not look like a human. Human? Do you know the human? Oh, it's a cat. Wait, is that... <gasps> Sheep! Sheep! Found John! Which John is better? This John has more health. This John, this John has most health. John, would you like to join me on my adventure to be big shit boy? Wait, uh...
Where are they? they? They scattered. They don't. They don't want my friendship. It's too bad, sheep. Uh, you. Get over your asshole. Jump. He's running away. He's running away from me. He's running away from me. He's, I've got like a fucking piece of cotton candy running at a sheep. How is this sheep faster than me? Please. Please stop. The sheep are reconvening. I've caught up to them. Eat. Eat of my flavors of war. Eat. Got this cotton candy for you. Wanna fucking eat it, asshole? I'm shoving cotton candy up a sheep's asshole and it's not working. Come on. He just... Phantom sheep. Okay, well... Do you want cotton candy? <laughs> fucking hell. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna end off this episode because there's... I really don't know what the fuck the ending of this was. Anyway, I don't really know how long I'm going to play this game for. I feel like I at least... I don't know if I want to go out of this region. I may just stick this entire region and be like, Oh, well, you know, I did this whole thing. I don't want to go anywhere else. That's the end of the game. I don't know at this point. But either way, I hope, you've been, I hope you liked watching my little stupid bullshit about Cube World. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to get killed. <laughs>